Hey everybody, Michael here. I just booted up my PlayStation 5 and instead of going ahead and playing one of the latest games or one of the games from my game library, I was going to go ahead and get this system updated to at least 9.60. Now, if we come over here to system software and console information, you can see that I am on 7.61. And well, the reason that I have been on 7.61 is, is that this PlayStation 5 is my actual daily gaming machine. And I feel that at this point, I can go ahead and safely update to PlayStation 5 9.60 and go ahead and start enjoying some of these new games. Okay, let's go ahead and get this PlayStation 5 updated from 7.61 to 9.60. And before we begin, you will need to get one of these Lua games. Okay, so back over on the PC, we can see that we have a release from Master underscore S9. And in that, we have a PS5 backup that you can restore to. So this is great because it automatically has something called its PLK. You don't have to use the command prompt or anything like that because it automatically executes the jailbreak for you. Now this does come with the save data for all of the current Lua games that is supported by Remote Lua Loader. And to download this, just go over here to LimeWire and download it. And do note that there is always a brand new version of this. As you can see, this one you know just came out a couple of hours ago. I expect there to be brand new versions as there's still a few moving pieces at the moment. Now, the next thing that you will want is to download the PS5 update for firmware version 9.60. So I will leave a link to this. Once you get those two downloaded, let's go ahead and plug in a USB drive to copy those files over. Okay, so I have attached an empty USB flash drive and it is drive letter ELF. And I've went ahead and opened up the its PLK and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and drag this to the root of the USB drive and let it finish extracting. Okay, now that that has finished, we can go into PS5 and you should see this export folder and then backup and then this archive.dat. Okay, let's go back to where it says PS5 and let's go ahead and create a new folder in here and let's call this update and go ahead and go inside of it. And from here, we're gonna open up that firmware 9.60 and we want to grab the PS5 update.pup and drag that right into that folder. Okay, and once that finishes, you will see that that is inside of the update folder here. So our USB drive looks just like this. At this point, since we are using its PLK, we need to come in and create a folder named PS5 underscore Lua underscore loader on the root of our USB drive. So coming in right here, we're going to right click new folder and I'm going to provide the name PS5 Lua Loader. Once that's complete, go ahead and go inside of it and we're just going to create a new file here and we're going to give this the name of autoload.txt and now we're gonna go ahead and supply the very latest ETA hen build. Now, the version of ETA HEN that I'm going to use is going to be the one over here in PKG Zone in the channel ETA HEN Public Test, and it is test9.elf. So go ahead and download that. Now, we could obviously change that test9 to ETA HEN, but we're just going to go ahead and leave it as is for now. So go ahead and open up the autoload.txt and we're just gonna type in here test9.elf and go ahead and save that file. So back over on your USB drive, you should have the PS5 Lua loader as well as the autoload.txt and then the test9.elf 
if you are using the same test as I am. And then you'll also have your PS5 and then export as well as you will have your update folder. For now, go ahead and take that and plug that into your PlayStation 5. Okay, with that plugged into your PlayStation 5, go over to where it says settings here. We're gonna to go to system and we're gonna to go to system software update and settings and then update system software. And then we're gonna select update from USB drive. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and click update. So there it goes. It is starting to copy the update file over and soon we will be on 9.60. Okay, rebuilding database. Okay, and here we are. And as you can see right there, it does say the system software update is complete. Okay, so let's go over to where it says settings. And we're gonna go down to system, system software, and then console information. And right there, you can see I am now on 9.60. Okay, now it is time to go ahead and restore a backup. Now, before I do that, let me go ahead and let you know that when you restore this backup, any of your existing games that you have on here will be destroyed. So in my instance, I'm just gonna go ahead and come back over here to settings and we're gonna to go to system and we're going to take the option here to backup and restore. And from here, we're going to take the second option here, which is restore your PS5. So if I press X on that, now you can see there is the backup data that you can restore with. So I am going to take that option and I am aware of those consequences and we are going to select yes to that message. Okay, let's let this finish completing. So from here it goes, restore your PS5 and then it goes to the restoring state. And right there we can see that we have an account called Lua and it says it's PLK version 22.6. So go ahead and press X on that. Okay, and there we go. So it looks like by default, they already have the debug settings icon ready to go there, as well as they have the homebrew launcher. That's nice. And that is it for that. And if we go over to settings here, you could come in here and go to users and accounts. And if this is the only user that you're going to use, you could just come right here and put a check in login automatically there and then go back and then it would just automatically sign into that account. Okay, we'll go over to system and then console information. We're still on 9.60 there. And if we go into storage, you can see that right there we've got game and apps. And you'll also see right there is the save data. So if we go into that and go to PS4 games, here is all of the different Lua games that's currently available. Okay, so from here, let's go ahead and go back to the tab called media. Now, as you can see right here, I had Victorious's V.20 PS5 Auto Jailbreak in this. Now, this will no longer work. This only worked up to 7.61. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and eject that. And right there we go. That is now taken out. And now I need to insert my Lua game disc. And at this point, it is going to need to install that. While we're waiting, let's go back over to media and you'll see that it also has a web browser integrated, which is very nice, as well as the PS5 shop app PKG, which is where you can download some homebrew applications. So nice to see a couple of additional options in there. Okay, now at this point it has finished we should be able to go ahead and get jailbroken here as well as load ETA HIN. And we should be able to come over here to settings now. And right there it is, ETA HIN toolbox. So from here, what we would more than likely want to do 
is, is that we could go ahead and get started and add in a PS4 fake package game. So let's just start with that. We're going to go to settings here. We're going to go to debug settings and then package installer. And now insert a USB drive that has some PKGs on it. Okay, so I have just went and inserted one that has a game called High on Life as well as some DLC. So we can check to make sure DLC works. A couple of very recent titles here. I'm going to come up here to the top here and we're just going to take install all and then press OK on that. I also went ahead and installed Hollow Knight, Silk Song, as well as High on Life. Let's go ahead and begin with High on Life because it's really easy to determine if the DLC has been added or not because it's pretty much right there on the title screen. So let's give this a second to load. Okay, so we'll press a button here and right there it is, High on Knife. That is the DLC for this game. And the reason I pick it is because it is so easy to test with. And so there we go. We can now start enjoying DLC content as well as PlayStation 4 games. But let's go ahead and just double check our work here. And let's go ahead and load up Hollow Knight Silk Song. And okay, here we are yet again and we could now go ahead and start enjoying this game as well. So I think it is pretty safe to say here that our PlayStation 4 fake package games are working just as intended. So what about PlayStation 5, you may be asking? Okay, so I have went ahead and plugged in the same USB drive that we've been working with, which is drive letter ELF, and I created a folder here called ETA Hen. Inside of that, you will need to create another folder. And in this instance, it does have to be named Games. And then inside of that, that is where you can place any of your games. Now, what I did for this sample was, was that I went ahead and I took a 9.x game, which is called A Quiet Place, and I put the full contents of it just in this folder right here. Okay, so I need to go ahead and plug this into my PlayStation 5 and let's see if this works. Okay, so back over on our PlayStation 5 here, we can simply go into settings, scroll down to debug settings, and we can go to PS5 Webman Games and we can launch it directly from here. Now at the moment here, items flow is not working, but you can run it through the Webman games. So on this entry, I'm gonna go ahead and press the X button. And if everything goes as planned, as you can see right there, we will begin launching one of these brand new 9.x games. Okay, and there we go. There is a quiet place, the road ahead. And so here we are, we are in game here. And so this is a quiet place. So I'm not sure if this game is good or not. Obviously there's a couple of other games that is out there like Black Myth Wukong, which I'm sure most of you are going to want to play as well as some other new titles that have come out. Well, anyways, when the new version of K-Stuff for 10.01 comes out, as well as an updated version of ETA Hen, I'll obviously be covering that here on the channel. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.